Well, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, as you can hear, my voice is better. I think it's better. I think it sounds better. I'm able to, I don't know, it just feels like it sounds better now, but it's still there. Definitely still there. It's not right at all. This has been nearly three weeks now that I have sounded well obviously i've sounded worse than this but it's just not been right at all um how long how long before your voice comes back after you've been poorly because i would really like my normal voice to come back now <laughs> although people do keep saying to me oh you sound husky <laughs> i'm like I don't, I don't want to sound husky i want to sound like me again um but yeah, anyway, good morning. It is Saturday morning and I'm just getting ready because we're going out today. We're gonna go to a place in Bournemouth called The Den. Uh, my friend at work told me about this place and it's on an industrial estate and it sells like retro stuff, vintage stuff, um, like bric-a-brac things and it's basically a, an industrial unit but it's got individual cellars in there and it just sounded really cool so uh, we're going to go and have a look around there see what see what's in there um they've got an instagram which i will link below and they've got some really cool stuff so uh, chris has already looked on there and been like oh there's a really nice chimney <laughs> there he's thinking about the summer already although to be fair aren't we all thinking about the summer i have do you know what, I've always been like an autumn winter kind of person, but do you know what, I want some spring and summer, not like boiling heat, like it's like a burning inferno, like it has been, but just some warmth, just some nice warmth, although I do love a crisp morning, like a crisp morning walk, um, anyway, what am I talking about, I don't know, stop talking, get dressed, um, and then yeah, let's let's take you along to the den, see if we can see any goodies. Um, I might pop back to the range today because I want to pick up a couple more bits. Uh, tonight we are going to our friend's house for dinner and we're having like a Vegas planning session um, because they are meeting us in Vegas. Uh, when we go in my, I actually figured out we go away in nine weeks time. That's nothing really. And then in between then, me and mum go to Paris for a couple of nights, which is, it's like this is the third time we've planned this trip. Um, so hopefully we get to go this time. Um, but that's in like three weeks we go to Paris. And then nine weeks we go to, we go, well we're going to LA and Vegas. Um, but yeah, they're going to meet us in Vegas. So um we're having a planning session i say we i am <laughs> it's a, i am a travel princess i am that person that just rocks up at the airport la 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 we're going on holiday chris has sorted it all out chris has sorted all the money all the planning all that kind of stuff because he loves that i'm not so great with planning things i sort of have an input and go oh I'd quite like to go there I'd quite like to visit there and then Chris does all the geographical stuff so he'll go right we're in this area today so we can do this 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 and this um so he loves doing all that me not so much um but I love the holidays and I love creating the content so I will do the vlogs and the editing and all that kind of stuff um and Chris just plans it all and I'm just like <laughs> proper travel princess um but yeah we're gonna have uh, a planning session i will probably just drink wine to be honest and just go along with whatever is being said um but i'm looking forward to that tonight that'll be nice to uh catch up with our friends and yeah just discuss the holiday and look forward to it um it's nice to have things to look forward to isn't it anyway stop talking get dressed and let's Let's go to the den.
well hello good morning it is now the next day i didn't continue vlogging yesterday for some reason so we went to the den which was really cool actually they've got some really funky stuff in there stuff that i wish that i'd have bought um but didn't um and yeah the evening just ran away with chris is waiting to put shopping away uh, the evening just ran away with us uh, we went out for dinner with friends and then didn't get home till what time did we get home Oh, 11? 11? That's a lot, that's late. So, um, yeah, didn't didn't continue vlogging, but we've been shopping today, and I thought I'd do a shopping haul. I never do any shopping hauls, to be honest, because I never wonder if people are interested in it. But in the interests of the new year, we are meal planning, um, we're trying to eat a bit healthier, um, just trying to plan stuff. I think that's the key, isn't it? Once you... If you plan everything you can eat healthier like we have we've been terrible at planning things and just having like freezer teas and all that kind of stuff but no we've been planning stuff so i thought i'd do a little shopping haul so it's the first thing i got which you know very healthy <laughs> bought myself some flowers um tulips are out now rainbow tulips 3.99 from aldi we've got Yorkshire tea bags. Oh, they're going underneath, aren't they? Okay, we have wonky strawberries and raspberries. These are for my overnight oats that I've been doing, taking to work. Um, we've got some nuts, honey and peppercorn nuts. Oh, for the van. They just take to work. Okay. Uh, we've got some baby plum tomatoes. Some easy peelers. They go over there. Uh, one broccoli, um, one sweet that I'm going to do, I'm going to do a cottage pie tonight. Um, <clears throat> got some uh, hash, I've got some hash brown waffle, mini hash brown waffles. And I, I thought I'd try, I've never tried freezer cauliflower cheese before, but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, vegetable medley. Some courgette, um, a malt loaf, a so multi malt loaf in the cupboard over there. A cucumber, some um, garlic apples. I need to wash those. I've uh, got a chicken casserole seasoning kit, uh, cucumber, uh, and some potatoes. They go out there. So that's that bag done right next bag we have got um, oh we went to iceland as well got some bits from iceland so this has got some uh, ready to eat chicken oh we're out of focus ready to eat chicken for work so he's been taking chicken and um like soup like cup of soup i've got some table telly go over there uh, I've got, oh i love these these mccain um microwave jacket potatoes five minutes and they're really nice in the microwave uh, those um got some mints to go two packets of mints to go in the freezer i've got a, i've got a mince already for the cottage pie tonight got some uh sticky japanese teriyaki sauce um and then chris has got some chicken wing barbecue chicken wings right that bag is done and then back to aldi uh i've got some of this uh chocolate crisp cereal i thought i'd put this in with my overnight oats if i fancy a little bit of like a, a sweet fix or like a it's noisy <laughs> a chocolate fix so i've got some of those to sprinkle in there i've got some salt and vinegar rice cakes Two lots of yogurts, a uh, strawberry and a peach. Um, some um, light mini baby bells. They're good for packing. I've got a squash, an orange squash. I'll go in the cupboard. Um, got some ham, some wafer ham. Chris got the beef trimmings. He likes these sort of off cut meaty trimmings that you can get in Aldi. They do all different flavours, don't they? Yeah. Um, block of cheese. 
some like soft cheese Philadelphia because we're gonna have um, chicken um, with Philadelphia and then wrapped in bacon in the week. And we've got this big, we get these big packs of chicken and these are fiver. No. Oh, how much is that? Is that eleven quid? Oh, eleven quid for that. But then what a pack it like. If you buy that in an individual, it'd be like a Yeah. Um, some streaky bacon to wrap around the chicken. Oh, and then I've got some pesto, because I thought I might put some pesto in mine as well, because I really like pesto. But also, I think I might put this into uh, an ice cube tray, because I've seen a really good thing on Instagram where if you put your individual sections of pesto, then you can just like pop a, pop a cube out if you want to use it and just defrost it. So I'm going to do that. Um, that can go in the fridge. Um, and then we've got some baby wipes for the car, some tissues for the car, <laughs> <laughs> and some baked beans. And there we go. That is it. Oh, did I did I show you the potatoes? Did I show you that? Yeah. Did I did? Uh, so there we go. That's our weekly shop. Uh, we've got our meals planned. We've got breakfasts planned. Um, lunches i'm gonna try and just cook extra and then have you know leftovers for lunch and stuff chris has got his chicken um so yeah that's our that's our weekly shop right should we go for walkie should we go for walkie yes you can open the door then open the door um <laughs> who's that over there Here we go, this is what I was talking about earlier by putting pesto into an ice cube tray. So then you've got individual portions for when you need it because I am the only one that likes pesto in this house. And so buying a big jar like this is sometimes a waste because I'm not gonna use it all in one go. Um, and sometimes it does stay in the fridge and then you think, oh, it's gone off. So um, yeah, I saw this handy tip online where this lady put puts them into ice cube trays freezes them and then when she wants to have some pesto with her dinner she pops out a couple of ice cubes and defrosts them and um yeah so that's what i've done don't get them confused with normal ice cubes because i don't think it'll taste nice in your drink chris <laughs> I am not doing very well with this vlog, I have to say. Um, I had every intention of just vlogging for one day on Saturday and it's now Monday morning. I'm just getting ready for work. And I thought, oh, I better say goodbye, better end the vlog. We had a really sort of slow Sunday yesterday and I really enjoy it. That's what I want to do moving forward this year. I just want to have Sundays at home. I mean, it's not going to be the case all the time like we've got some plans throughout the year on Sundays but ideally I love being busy on a Saturday and at home on a Sunday just bimbling around doing housework cooking prepping for the week that kind of thing watching films we actually watched Philadelphia um 
yesterday. I've never seen that film from start to finish. I've only ever seen snippets. Really good film. Cried my eyes out. Another good film that I saw this week or watched this week was Good Grief on Netflix. Um, it's written and directed by Dan Levy um, from Chits Creek. And again, cry my eyes out on that one. Um, yeah, it's it's very poignant. It's very thought provoking and not quite what it seems. Like if you look at the trailer, you think it's about someone dealing with grief, which it is, but it's so much more than that. I feel like that film is more about friendship and learning to love and love life again after after a, a death um <clears throat> so yeah really really enjoyed that film um i've we've kind of given up on um for me once it's got very boring should we persevere i just we just can't get into it um started watching it and now we're just like oh god this is a bit it's a bit boring um and then gladiators oh my voice Gladiators started back up again. <sighs> that is like a blast from the past. It's been like a very nostalgic weekend. So I saw all the old toys when we went to the den um, on Saturday, um, which made me very nostalgic. I saw an O Penny set and I was like, oh, I had that as a child. And then Gladiators is back on Saturday night. We watched it yesterday, because we were out Saturday. We watched it yesterday, sort of caught up on Saturday night TV. And um, it's not bad. It's all right, actually. Anyway, <clears throat> this has ended up being a bit of a waffle about what I've been watching. Um, I'm supposed to be saying goodbye and getting ready for work. So, yeah, thank you for watching this vlog, whatever whatever this is. It's like spread over three days, but there we go. Uh, I'm going to put my socks on now. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and I'll see you soon.